Here I'm going to show you some examples of converting from polar to rectangular coordinates. And what I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to do all these the quick way, which I'm sure everyone likes. Um, <clears throat> then I'll go back and do one of them a more visual way if you prefer that. So um, remember that we know from the previous video that to convert between, uh, to convert from polar to rectangular, we use, I'll put it down here in the corner, we use that x, the x coordinate is r cosine of theta, and y is equal to r sine of theta. So, our first polar coordinate here, we have that our r is 3. Why would I write 3 again? Our r is 3 and our angle is theta. And so, if we want to convert this to rectangular coordinates, then the x-coordinate is equal to 3 cosine of 5 pi over 6. And y is equal to 3 sine of 5 pi over 6. Um, now this would be a calculator problem, I'm going to write that next to it, I'm sorry, a non-calculator problem. And the reason is because, uh, so no calc, because the angle given is one you should be able to handle using your special triangles. Um, whereas the next two you'll be able to use your calculator. So you can't use your calculator here, so let's just go, go here maybe and draw ourselves. draw ourselves a little diagram and evaluate the, the cosine and sine of 5 pi over 6. So recall 5 pi over 6 is 150 degrees, that brings you here, where that's a 30 degree angle, meaning that's 60. Uh, making this a 1, this a negative root 3, and this a 2. And so our x coordinate would be 3 and the cosine of 5 pi over 6 is negative root 3 over 2. And our y coordinate would be 3 times the sine of 5 pi over 6, which is 1 over 2. And so, as our final answer, we would write our x coordinate is 3 times negative root 3 over 2. We can simply leave it as negative 3 root 3 over 2, comma, 3 times a half is 3 halves. Okay, so that's all done without the calculator. The next one, we'll do the same thing, uh, but we'll use a calculator. So, there's my r, there's my theta. So my x coordinate is going to be 2 cosine of negative 200 degrees and my y coordinate is going to be 2 sine of negative 200 degrees and when you do that in the calculator you get for your x coordinates negative 1.8 1.879 And for your y coordinate, you get 0.684. So in rectangular form, this point to negative 200 degrees is negative 1.879, comma, 0.684. Now I just want to pause here one moment just to remind you that it's always a good idea to kind of check, check what your uh, you know, check that this is, I know, somewhat procedural, but you should be able to check that it makes sense because 2 negative 200 degrees, I'm going to plot 2 negative 200 degrees in polar form, would be, let's see, so you rotate negative 200 degrees and then walk out 2. So negative 200 degrees should put you uh, right about here, right? Because that's, you know, negative 180 brings you all the way to the, to here. And then you go a little more, you go 20 degrees more. So it should point you in that direction, and then you walk out two. So 
So does it make sense that if you wanted to write that in rectangular form, you'd walk out in negative 1.8, negative 1.8, and then up 0.68? Yeah, right? As you, the quadrant makes sense, right? You'd walk negative and then up. So that's kind of thing you kind of want to just... Um, you want to just do to make sure that you check and make sure your answer makes sense. Um, this last one, I want to let you do it. You can do this one of two ways. Again, this is a calc problem. So you can try this on your own. And you can either convert this, because notice this is an angle, but it's in radians. But it's not one of the angles that we're used to, right? It's not a, a multiple of 30 degrees or, or 60 degrees or 45 degrees, any of those. So you would still just put this in your calculator the same way but you might you need to be in radian mode so you would have to go to radian mode and put this in or you can convert this to degrees on your own it's up to you and, and leave your calculator in degree mode so you can pause the video give this a shot alright welcome back so what you should have gotten is that x equals negative 3 cosine of 29 pi over Seven. Y is negative three sine of twenty nine pi over seven, and those coordinates turn out to be negative two point seven zero three, negative one point three zero two. All right. So I think that's the quickest way to do these problems. The other thing you could do, and I'll just do it really quickly, I won't even follow it through, but if you're more visual, take a look at, for instance, number, well, let's just look at number two. In number two, what you could do is, so this is just going to be number two done a different way. You could plot the point, Negative 200 degree, uh, 2 negative 200 degrees, which we've seen, brings you here. So negative 200 degrees bring you there. Now the angle of interest that you're obviously interest that you obviously care about is this one right in here because it's the one that will help you make the triangle. That's 20 degrees, right? So you could do look at the triangle and then do sine of. 20 degrees equals y over 2, cosine of 20 degrees equals x over 2, and solve them, what you'll get are uh, the same numbers in absolute value as you got in number 2, but you'll, ha you'll be responsible for adding in the negatives. Because when you do sine of 20 degrees, the calculator thinks you're in quadrant 1. But we all know that we're not, so you'd have to be responsible for putting in the negatives yourself. But the, uh, just using the straightforward conversion formulas we have uh, would allow you so that you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to worry about that. So it's uh, it's up to you whichever whichever method you prefer.